Okay, so once again, this is Toronto Bond Academy. So, you know, we have a question there. So, the question says, uh, This is Toronto Bond to Toronto or Bond to Academy. So, if you're new to my channel or to my education channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Make sure you share with people because there's other people out there who need help for this type of question, but they don't know where to get it, how to, where and how to ask them. So, let's see how we can solve this question next. So, let's say, uh, excuse me, catch a fax equals 5x squared minus 2x squared. No. I made a mistake then copying the question. My apologies. There's no 5x squared. It's just 5x. My apologies. Sorry. So it's 5x minus 2x squared. So let's say write down the dh. Uh, just like I explained before, dh means domain of this function. But a function is h. So that's just a d of h. And then solve the inequality. Okay. So <coughs> let's start with the dh, domain of h. So, we, so we're given h of x. Equal to 5x minus 2x squared. So we say d of h means domain of h. So we want to have to test and see which number works here. See, so of course, I don't think there's any number when you plug in here is not going to work. For example, if you have a square root of x, we know if a number is negative in a root or in a square root, no, excuse me, if I say root, I'll be wrong because if it's q, it's going to work if you have a negative. For example, negative 8. This is gonna give us negative two. So you can say those are two different things. You know what I'm saying, but if it's square root, any number, if it's square root means any number which is in here, it has to be zero or greater than zero. Either zero or greater than zero, right? So for this case here, if it's quadratic function or parabolic function, what we call a parabolic function, because if you draw a if you draw a, a graph, it has to be parabola. So excuse me. So now we say they any number is gonna work. There is no number, try any number, either you take a positive or negative or fraction, they're all going to work. For example, let's say 5 times a half, minus 2 times a half, but then square means we assume x equal to half. So it's going to work because we're going to have a 5 over 2 minus, we start to the bracket, body mass. So remember body mass from grade 1, grade 2, you all face start to the bracket. Do not multiply 2 times 1, 2 times 2, you're going to get chopped. See, you're going to have to square face from body mass body mass so you square face you get one over four so you see you're gonna get the value of cos so even if you say negative oh let me change this to negative if it's negative also it's gonna get you value do you understand what i'm saying so any number you're gonna plug here is gonna work so for that case now we're gonna say domain of h is a order number so any number is gonna work there any number that you're gonna insert in that function of what in any quadratic or linear any number works. That's what we say. Any linear function or quadratic function, the domain are all real number. But sometimes it depends on the graph. But for this case, say okay, because they didn't give me any restriction, so I'm going to say okay. Say okay. So for that case now, so domain of h, we say domain of h are all real numbers. So we can say domain of h are all real number. I want it smaller than that. Okay. Let's go for the second part. The second part they say okay. Write down the no no. That one is done. Excuse me. So. Then solve the inequality. So inequality. So okay. So part two they have a uh, they're giving uh, two equal to is greater or equal to g of x. So we know h of x. So we can just plug in h of x straight away. So okay. So I'm gonna say two. So this is part one is done already. So part two. So it's okay. So they give me two greater or equal to h of x. But I know my g of h. My h of x. Excuse me. H of x, this one, I can take this one and come and plug it in here. So let's plug it quick. So I'm going to say, <coughs> excuse me. So that's the same as saying uh, 2 greater or equal. What is my h of x? It's 5x minus 2x squared. Do you understand know what I'm saying? So here we go. Okay, and then after that, I'll take everything to the left. Take everything to the left. So everything come to the left. So I'm going to say this one come here, which is going to be. It's gonna be. I want to rearrange my equation so it can be in a uh, standard uh, form of quadratic. So 2x, and then this is gonna be positive 2x, and then this one come to the left is gonna be negative 5x, and then we have a plus 2 greater or equal to 0. Excuse me. So this is a normal quadratic, right? So this is normal quadratic, so we're gonna to have to solve this. So remember this, man. <coughs> Excuse me, my apologies. My apologies, sorry. <coughs> so remember this, man. My apologies. Sorry, everybody. So we say, apologize. So we say, let me explain to you what that means. Meaning, you see this one here. Everything here must be greater than zero. Let's draw a little graph here. Let's draw a graph quick. 
the draw graph, this is the xy plane. Oh, oh, this is y axis and this is x axis. Excuse me. Let's find the x intercept where the graph is going to cut to x and where it's going to cut to y. So, of course, you know our y intercept equal to 2 when value of x equal to 0, when y intercept x is 0. So, this is going to be 0, 0, and y intercept is going to be a 2. So, positive 2 somewhere here. You know what I'm saying? That's a positive 2. So now we go, because you take this one to the left, so this one goes to the left, and then we say greater than 0. Now we say, <clears throat> so y intercept equals 2 positive. Now we go, okay, what about x intercept? x intercept, we can solve. Let's see x intercept. Right, so x intercept, our x intercept, our x intercept, it's okay. So let's solve x intercept. So it's okay. So y intercept equals 2, and they want to get x intercept. x intercept, let's start to write this number here, okay? So put 2 bracket, greater than equal to 0. So this is 2x squared. So for us to get 2x squared, of course, this has to be 2x, and this has to be x. Look, 2x times x is 2x squared. Okay, so now how are we going to get uh, 2? For us to get 2 by enemies, and it has to be 2 and 1. means 2 times 1 equals to 2. But I want to see... If these two numbers are going to give us negative 5, come on, man, think about it. How are we going to get negative 4? Negative, uh, negative, <coughs> negative 5. Of course, this must be negative. This must be negative. Let's see if it's true. To make some x, 2x squared. 2x times, because you take the picture on the picture, to make some x, 2x squared, we want to see if it's true. What I, uh, what I did here in factorization. 2x times x, 2x squared. 2x times, so this is going to be 2x squared. 2x times negative 2, negative 4x. Now we go for the second one. Negative 1 times x, negative x, negative 1 times negative 2 plus 2. Oh, okay, it's true. Because this is going to give us negative 5x plus 2, and then 2x squared. If you don't know factorization, please let me know. I can make a video. If you watch my other video, of course, you're going to get, uh, <coughs> excuse me, because I have an expanded rate of factorization, but if you have a problem, let me know. I don't have a problem to explain another video, so now it's okay. So now if I had to factorize, if I had to factorize this one here, um, this one here is going to give me 2x minus 1, x minus 2. So now look, this right. So we say okay. So for that case, now look, man. So we can finish here. So we say uh, whenever we have something like this, so it's okay. So two x minus one greater equal to zero, and this has to be greater equal to zero. So it's okay. So two x minus one, and then you put your any sign which you have there. But for this case, greater or equal, and then write your zero. Or oh, so either the first one is greater equal to zero, or the second one. It also has to be greater or equal to zero, so we can finish here. And it's okay. So for that case now, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So now we can conclude this value is going to be okay. Let's get the value of x. So we're going to say okay. So two x greater or equal to one go over. So x is greater or equal to one over two, or x greater or equal to two. So for now we can just conclude this. Oh, this value that's our final answer. Meaning, uh, so we're going to have to check x if it's true. It's not true. So we know for effects. Our uh, value of x, just value of x, normal value of x, okay, so I'm going to do this part. I'm going to eliminate this. Let's assume it's just equal to. Let's just do assumptions equal to. No, no, let's, let's leave it. Excuse me. Greater equal to, and then greater equal to 2. So let's test, and then we're going to, uh, right, so the value of x is going to be a half, and another value of x is equal to 2, so it's okay. So for x, going to be half, and another one is going to be 2. So half and 2, excuse me, a half and, uh, okay, x a half, and this another one is going to be 2, you see? x a half and this is two let's see if you did correct here two two negative five yeah negative five let's see yeah that's true negative five okay so first value of x is going to be half another value equal to two but you know it no, makes sense yeah, you see what i'm saying because if this is a half yeah, yeah it makes sense it makes sense it makes sense let's go so this is going to be half excuse me let's assume this is one and let's assume this is two a half is going to be somewhere here and two is going to be somewhere here so let's draw a graph so the graph so let's just assume like we don't have inequalities so like equal sign is going to be uh uh -huh. Because x equal to half and x equal to 2. So we want to check and find a lot to see if it's true. Look, man. So now, here, excuse me. See here. This is 0 meaning y. Because whenever you get x intercept, the value of y equal to 0. So the value of y equal to 0. Excuse me. For, for this case, it's not 0. They say, we want to get the value of x where y is greater than 0. Where y is greater than 0. Let's check now. The value of x are here. This is a half. Excuse me. This is a half. This is 2. This is the x intercept. So where the value of x, whereby the value of x is going to get, is going to be greater than 0. Look, from here, where is y? 
All right, so we say, okay, so look here, man. So we say, uh, we, we want to get the value of x, whereby those value of x, it has to be greater than zero. Greater than zero. So we look, okay, wow. So look, where is y? Because when you say zero means, when you get x, when x are intercept, y equal to zero. So, okay, so we want to know the value of, when the, the value of x, whereby it's going to be greater than zero. Okay, let's come here. Okay, look, look here. Look here. This is the value of x. But where is going to be greater than zero? I mean, the value of x, where the value of y, it must be greater than zero. What do you mean about that? Because when x is intercept, y has to be zero. So when you say zero, means y. You know what I'm saying? So we want to get the value of x whereby those value of x, the value of y is going to be greater than zero. So let's come. Okay, let's, for example, let's look from here. Okay, these are value of x. But uh, where the value of x, the y is going to be greater than zero. Where is y greater than zero? From here to the top is y greater than zero. Because look, y1, one, y2, one, y3. One, so the value of x where y is going to be greater than zero is from here. Because you're going to have to look at the graph. Look, from here, y is greater than 0. So all the value from x, which is less than a half. So all x less than a half, the value of y is going to be greater than 0. What do you mean about that? Look, see here, x, all this side here. Where did the graph go? Graph go to the top. So if graph go to the top, meaning it tells you the value of y here is greater or equal to 0. You know what I'm saying? So value of x... When x is less or equal to a half here, when, when you say less or equal means either on or before x equal to a half, the graph go to the top. But what that means you say go to the top, meaning when you go to the top, bar of y is zero. Bar of y is greater or equal to zero because look here, y is zero greater than zero. What about here? Look here, this part here. This part here, look, the graph going down. But it starts from on zero to down so here what does that mean mean the value of y decreased to negative so we don't need that because according to our equation the one what <coughs> excuse me the one what y which is going to be greater than zero so this one we don't need because the graph going down the value of y the graph decrease here so the value of y decrease to the negative we don't need it so now we come here excuse me <coughs> the value of x equal to two but are we going to take x Let's equal to 2 or x greater than 2. Look, how did I say? <coughs> Look here. We want to get the value of x whereby the value of this x it has to be greater or equal to y or greater or equal to 0. Means to the top, above 0. So look here. The graph go above. And the value of y starts from 0. Look here. 0, 1, 2. It's like 0, 1. Uh -huh. So the graph will go up to the top. But from where? From here to this side to go to the top so we say x has to be greater or equal to two so now finally this one is is not true but it is true so for that case you have to change it and say okay so this is should not be x greater or equal to half it has to be x less or equal to a half so this is going to be our answer and this is going to be half x less or equal to half or or in the x has to be greater or equal to two so finally <coughs> The inequality, if they say if they say we have to solve this inequality whereby two greater or equal to h of x, we're gonna say okay, so for two greater or equal to h of x, after we solve, we substitute and then we got this uh, inequality here, and then finally we say okay, so that's gonna be only valid for x less or equal to a half, or or and x is greater or equal to two. Okay, look, man, so if, you, uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and click that like button and share to the people. Let's go to the next question. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.